man died, some are weeping. Because back in the days, reggae music was there, Fuji was there, High Life was there, Juju was there, hip hop was there, everything was there. Everybody had their own place to push. But nowadays, what I see is that strictly pure hip life and, mm. and for hip hop. It now goes so, and it won't be so. Mm. It's not supposed to be so. Nigerians from all works of life are paying tribute to reggae icon Raskimono, who died yesterday at the Lagoon Hospital Ikoyi, Lagos, few weeks after celebrating his 60th birthday. The Delta State Governor Ifai Okowa, in a condolence message, issued a statement in Asaba by his Chief Press Secretary, Charles Anyagu, describes Raskimono as a true music legend. The Senator representing Bielsa East, Ben Murray Bruce, in a tweet said he felt so sad on hearing the death of the reggae legend. He added that Kimono redefined the face of music. Billionaire businessman Femi Otedola also in a tweet said Kimono will be greatly missed. In his dramatic approach to issues, Senator Dino Malaye in his condolence message asked a rhetorical question. Death, why? Why? My brother and my friend. A former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, Reno Omokri, described Raskimono as a legend who made his childhood so much fun. I'm not going to leave drugs alone and concentrate on your musical career. You will say, number one musician, Michael Jackson, never smoke or drink. Raskimono don't smoke or drink. And if I attend inside, anybody can attend. Seasoned banker Tony O. Enumelu, chairman of the Copyright Society of Nigeria, Tony Okoroji, Oritz Williki, Victor Essiet, Kofi, reggae on air personality Covenant Child, and renowned sports journalist Charles Anazodu also paid condolences to Raskimono. We had a lot of underground work that we've been doing. You understand? A whole lot of things. From his show at Freedom Park, his remembrance, a whole lot. You know, if in fact he said to me before he, he traveled, was to travel to America that when he comes back, we're going to harmonize things in this genre. You know, so, um, I don't know, I lack words to explain it. I can easily joke with Kimono. I throw jibes at him, he takes it, he laughs, he blows his whistle to appreciate me and all that. So, for me, it's, it's a very deep loss. It's a very deep loss. Uh, I, I'm still in shock. I don't know if it's shock they call it, but yeah, I think I'm still somewhere between reality and you know disbelief. For me, you know, I, I think it's time we begin to document history and and so that uh, we don't just let things fizzle away. We don't just let good music, you know, a particular genre of music, just die like that. My memories of him, I can actually picture him right now. Actually, I, my memories of him are a guy who would always smile. He was a very pleasant guy very very pleasant and uh, he is a great loss uh, to Nigeria particularly to the entertainment sector. Kimono was the king of Rabado here in Africa. I pray God should send another king, another one that can go, that can take the line here in K. Really, I really miss I miss Kimono. He was a good man. In all ramifications, he was a good man. So, we were heartbroken, we are sad, but we also thank God for the life he lived and the legacy he left behind. Famous for his rubber dub style, Ras Kimono was born Okeleke Elumelu on Wubuya on May 9th, 1958, hailed from Delta State. He recently celebrated his star-studded 60th birthday in Lagos. Kimono released his debut album with his massive dread reggae band, Under Pressure, on Premier Music Label in 1989, which became an instant hit. Everywhere that me go, me see them. Some are cry, some are die, some are weeping, some are wailing. Everywhere that me go, yeah. He started his musical career as a student of Benoba Secondary School Agbo, Delta State, and joined a group of CJ Aztec Reggae Ital along with Majek Fashek, Amos McCroy, and Black Rice Osage. 
not to shy away from political activism. Raskimono, who said he lived as a vegetarian for 37 years, used his songs to address social-political situations in the country. He is survived by a wife and children.